a very good morning all of you i hope it is streaming fine i do confirm if you have any issues with audio or video so i'm actually out of station so I had to change my recording location so anyways let me know if you have any issues with the streaming quality including the audio and i hope you guys are all ready so in today's live session 5 am club we'll go ahead with our general discussion as well as academic discussion uh, we'll practice an illustration from anatomy so please keep your notes ready i have mine ready so welcome to day 11 of our 21 day challenge 5 am club so how are you guys doing and did you have a good last night's sleep yeah thank you thank you ritu for the feedback so i think we can go ahead so let's start with our presentation soon so today is 11th day so almost halfway through our 21 day challenge so let's go ahead with the general discussion so nobody is right all the time so what's this all about we all make mistakes in the process of our journey so should we feel guilt about that or is there something we can learn from those mistakes and move ahead with positivity or optimism let's see realize that it is not required that a man or a woman be 100% right at all times no baseball batter has ever had an average of 1 or we can take cricket analogy so it's the nature of things that we progress by acting making mistakes and correcting course a guided torpedo literally arrives at its target by making a series of mistakes and continually correcting its course you cannot correct your course if you are standing still you cannot change or correct nothing you must consider the known facts in a situation imagine possible consequences of various courses of action choose one that seems to offer the best solution and bet on it of course you can correct your course as you go and you know uh, when one of the reporters uh, interviewed thomas alva edison's wife regarding making mistakes and making errors in the process of discoveries this is what she has to answer mr edison worked endlessly on a problem using a method of elimination if a person asked him whether he was discouraged because so many attempts proved unavailing he would say no i'm not discouraged because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward isn't it so it's not about who is right or wrong ultimately it's about how we are learning from that given experience and moving ahead and as a matter of fact is nothing like perfectionism as a matter of fact nobody is right all the time we all make mistakes in the process of our journey and if we are smart enough we'll make sure that we're learning something from those mistakes and progressing accordingly the same holds true even when you're taking up a test in preparation uh, perspective or in the context of preparation just because you haven't answered a question right doesn't mean that it's the end of the day or it's the end of the story Uh, there is something to learn always and learning is a continuous process and if we have this broader perspective then failures are not going to stop us in fact we're going to learn a lot from them and progress or proceed accordingly not just in our personal life but also in our professional life isn't it so with this introductory remarks let's move on to our academic part where we'll practice an illustration so before we proceed uh, make sure you all have your customized notes with you we we'll practice an illustration and let's have another deal again so previously we had a deal regarding uh, practicing mandibular illustrations where i said if you get back through mail i would provide you some key points about mandible anatomical perspectives i did so i kept my end of the deal you as well so let's have another deal now the following is the illustration which we are going to practice today so those who practice it simultaneously in this session and get back through mail with your illustrations just take a pic attach it in mail and get back through mail we'll be providing you key points from external 
carotid artery, common carotid artery and its branches to all those who send those illustrations. So that's the deal I'm proposing today. I hope you like the deal. So shall we start with our illustration practice? The stream quality seems to be fine. I hope you can uh, look into the smaller text without any issue. <clears throat> yeah, so before we start, as you know, external carotid artery, it's one of the two terminal branches of common carotid artery and supplies the structures external to the head and front of the neck. So we have various branches, eight branches to be more specific, which include, as you can see, superior thyroid artery, lingual artery, facial artery, occipital artery, posterior auricular artery, ascending pharyngeal artery, maxillary, and superficial temporal artery. So superficial temporal is a last and terminal branch. So the first three arteries, that is superior thyroid, lingual, and facial, they arise from the anterior aspect, as you can see in the illustration, right side. And the next two, that is occipital and posterior auricular, they are posterior branches. The next one that is ascending pharyngeal, which is a medial branch, and the last two terminal branches, superficial temporal and maxillary artery, they are the terminal branches of external carotid artery. So a total of eight branches. So external, the word external has eight letters. So eight terminal branches, if you wish to remember, right? So let's start with our illustration practice and let's spend at least 10 minutes time in completing this. It's a very simple thing, but we'll try to do it in a three dimensional way, all those vessels and all. When you spend a minimum required amount of time, it really helps you to register this entire illustration in your mind, okay? So let's start with the common carotid artery. So I'm just giving the outline initially. I think compared to the illustration of mandible, drawing illustrations of arteries, nerves, or veins is relatively easy. We can just decide all the turns. So we'll, we'll start from the bottom or the inferior part. So first we have superior thyroid artery. On to the right, okay? So first we'll try to complete the right part of the illustration and then we'll move on to the left part. So first we have superior thyroid, then lingual artery. And then facial artery. And then we'll go to the top. We have maxillary and superficial temporal artery. And on left side of this illustration, we have posterior auricular artery from the top. And then occipital artery. And then ascending pharyngeal. So just following anti-clockwise or uh, as per convenience, any direction so that you can complete this illustration. Uh, ascending pharyngeal. Yeah. Now we can start labeling. So the bo bottom stump is common carotid, which bifurcates into internal and external carotid, you know, at the level of lamina of thyroid cartilage. So first, we'll start writing the names of anterior branches, superior thyroid, lingual, 
facial. So all of these fall under anterior branches. And then on top, uh, we have mentioned maxillary artery. and superficial temporal artery. So these fall under terminal branches. And then we have posterior auricular and occipital. So Rita seems to be very fast as usual. Vidha, I'm going to ask you some questions if you are, if you say finished. Are you ready? And then we have the medial branch, which is ascending pharyngeal artery. So we'll, we'll just color it up. Just using a highlighter. If you are interested, you can use colors. In fact, I've seen some of you using colors while doing mandible illustrations. So we'll just try to highlight the various branches of external carotid artery. So once again, as you can see, anterior branches include superior thyroid artery, lingual artery, facial artery. So three anterior branches, number three, right? And then we have two terminal branches, which are superficial temporal artery and maxillary artery. And then we have two posterior branches, posterior auricular and occipital artery, and one medial branch, which is ascending pharyngeal artery. So as, as we mentioned previously, external carotid artery is one of the two terminal branches of common carotid artery and supplies the structures external to head and in front of neck. And as I mentioned, where does this external carotid artery split from common carotid artery? It so extends upwards from the level of upper border of lamina of thyroid cartilage to a point behind the neck of mandible, where it terminates in substance of parotid gland by dividing into superficial temporal and maxillary arteries. I'm sure you are aware of this. So those who complete this illustration and get back through mail with your work, we will be providing you key points related to external carotid artery. So that's the deal we had initially, right? So before we conclude, let's have a quick summary of all the things we discussed in this 5 a.m. session. So today's 11th day, halfway through our 21 day challenge. So this is something which we should accept in, in our in our journey. So nobody is right all the time. If you're making mistakes, it's it's our responsibility to make sure that we're learning and not repeating the same. The same applies to anything in life, including preparation, including the tests which you take up on a regular basis or daily basis, right? So realizing that uh, it is not required that everyone has to be 100% right at all times. It's the nature of things that we progress by acting, making mistakes and correcting course. Just like a guided torpedo. Uh, uh, through negative feedback, it actually reaches the target. So you cannot change or correct nothing. You must consider the known facts in a situation, imagine possible consequences of various courses of action. Choose one that seems to offer the best solution. You can correct your course as you go. So it means, you need not stop just because you made a mistake. You can keep correcting and progressing accordingly. Right, so this is what uh, Ms. Edison had to say. So some of the branches, or the all branches of external carotid artery, which we practice in the form of an illustration. And when you're practicing any illustration, no distractions whatsoever, just observe the illustration very keenly and then practice it a couple of times. So once you've practiced it, observe your practiced illustration a couple of times. There is no way you're going to forget these branches. Believe me when I say this. So just close your eyes and I'm going to ask you some questions. See if you can answer these questions. Just close your eyes, don't look at the screen. So how many branches do you have for external carotid artery? 
So you can easily visualize. And also I mentioned that the word external itself contains eight letters, so eight branches. So in which directions are these branches being given off? So we have these anterior branches. You have seen, if you go anti-clockwise, in the way in which we practice this illustration, starting from anterior branches on right, we have terminal branches on top in a two-dimensional illustration. And then on the left, we have seen posterior branches and also we have seen a medial branch. So how many anterior branches do we have? So starting with superior thyroid, lingual artery and facial artery. So these three are the anterior branches. And we have two terminal branches, superficial, temporal and maxillary. And posterior branches, you have seen posterior, auricular and occipital. And then one medial branch which is ascending pharyngeal artery. So you're not going to forget, you're not going to get confused regarding these directions because you have consciously observed these illustrations keenly and then you practice them, not just observation, but also you practice them, right? So that's the advantage we have when, you, when we all learn subject through illustrations, isn't it? So get back through mail, you will get key points related to this topic. So that's the deal we had. So that's Bunny, that's my nephew. Okay, so these are some of the topics which I wanted to highlight in this specific video. So I hope you found this session informative. Your feedback is always welcome. And it's really good to see you all actively participating in 5M Club. So all you need to do is just keep this momentum going Another 10 days, you're going to experience the magic. In fact, you have been experiencing magic throughout this journey, thanks to this 5 a.m. club. In fact, I was lucky enough to record yesterday's sunrise. Uh, it was a fantastic video. I'm going to work on it and then present you that video. And it's a phenomena which happens every day. And if you're missing it, you're seriously missing something. Okay, so let's conclude our session. And if you have any queries or you need any further clarifications, of course, feel free to get back through me 24 by 7. Right? So wish you all the best. Love you all. Have a fantastic day ahead.